hey beautiful people welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so whenever i upload a new video you'll be the first person to be notified and the first person to go watch my video if you're already my subscriber thank you for coming back so guys today i'll be showing you guys how to make cameroon cookie granite or granite and corn flour pudding this is a combination of corn flour or fufu and peanut or corn here we have our fufu or our corn flour this is the cup i use in measuring my corn flour and my peanut so here i have three cups of corn flour and four cups of peanuts the peanuts needs to be mushed than the corn flour because it gives that nice taste to your cookie granola or your granola pudding here we have crayfish this is a cup and a half crayfish crayfish is one of the key ingredients in here because it makes it taste gives that it gives that extra taste to your cookie granola here we have maggi we have pepper for heat those who don't want pepper is optional you can leave it out so we have salt and we have one large onions onions too is optional i put onions because i want the flavor we have aluminum foil paper here to, to wrap our cookie granite so guys let's get started here in the pot here we have our corn flour we're gonna give a quick stir and make sure it doesn't get burned we we'll put the stove on medium heat and we have to keep stirring this corn flour so it doesn't get burned we don't need the, the stove doesn't need to be on heat guys our corn flour is almost ready look how brown they look this is so beautiful when you fry your your corn flour your cookie granite won't draw but when you don't fry the corn flour your cookie granite will be draw and it will have this it nasty look you guys see how beautiful they look this is so beautiful if you try cookie granite i bet you you will love it you won't regret the place go try it look how beautiful they look this is ready guys it's ready so right now we're gonna let this cool down for 10 to 15 minutes yeah we're gonna let it cool for 10 to 15 minutes while we fry our peanut in the pot here we have our peanut we're gonna fry this too on medium heat because we don't want it burnt on the outside and the inside is raw so we want to make sure it's cooked both on the inside and the outside we have to keep stirring this so it doesn't burn on one side we have to keep stirring to make sure it's cooked evenly guys ah cookie granite i love this so much guys look how beautiful our peanuts look a peanut is ready look how beautiful they look oh my gosh i can't wait to eat this cookie granite guys oh i love this so much so guys our peanut is ready so we're gonna let it cool for 10 minutes a peanut is all cooled down and our corn flour too is cooled down see how beautiful they look we have to let it cool down before we do the mixture so we'll go right to blend our ingredients in here we have our peanuts everything is combined together we're gonna blend everything together our peanut and the onions the pepper everything in the bowl here we have everything that has been blended together i always add water when i'm blending this so that it will make my make my mixture so easily when i when i'm blending my peanuts and oil, everything i add enough water so not too much you know so right in here i'm gonna add my maggi this is five maggi and we're gonna add some salt so you have to put salt and maggi to taste because some people don't eat too much maggi or salt so you have to put it to taste so after which we have we're gonna give it a good stir and make sure everything combines together so we don't have that one part too sweet and the other part not sweet 
so we have to go in and give a good mix to make sure everything combines so well so in here guys look how beautiful this look oh my god so we're just gonna go ahead and add our corn flour i'm not gonna add it at once i'm gonna add it little by little and give a quick mix to make sure everything combines together oh my god i can't wait to eat cookie granola too oh my god give that quick mix give that mix give that mix uh, go jamming go jamming yeah you see guys you see you just give that quick mix to combine everything together so look how beautiful they look <sighs> i just feel like digging in you know even though it's not ready yet to be eaten Whew. so guys I'm, I'm going ahead to add the remaining corn flour and i'll go ahead to give that quick mix i'm just going to add that corn flour so right now you don't have to make it too thick or too soft guys don't do that because when you do it too hard it won't deny when you do it too soft it won't deny so you have to make sure we give two quick steps if you mix it and you discover it's too hard you, what you do is you can add a little bit of water in it to make sure you have the right the right texture you want so mine is too hard so i will just go in and add a little bit of water not too much you have to be careful when you're adding the water because i don't want to make it too soft so i'll just go ahead and mix mix to so make sure i get the right texture i want for my cookie guys look how beautiful this, this is the right texture we've been looking for right look how beautiful they look oh my god this is so beautiful guys Oh, I can't wait to cook this and eat. I love cookie granola so much. I can eat this every day without getting tired. Seriously. In here we have the pot. This is the pot we'll be using to cook our cookie granola. It's already on the stove. So I just turned the stove on medium heat so it can be getting warm. Here we have our foil paper. This is what we'll be using to tie our cookie granola. And we are using a plastic wrap this is optional you ch you can choose to use the plastic wrap it's optional you can still use the foil paper without the plastic wrap i just choose to use it so you're gonna put the quantity you want the quantity of the pudding you want to make it depends on you you can make it big or smaller quantity because that depends on you so when you're wrapping this you have to make sure you twist the edges of the pudding so water doesn't get into it you see what i'm doing i have to twist the edges and make sure it's well tight so water can get into it i'm gonna tie i'm gonna do one more wrap so you guys can see how it does this is so easy guys you cook this thing it's so easy and if you cook it you will love it it's always good to try new things for those who have never eaten this go try it and you will love it guys i'm telling you you will love it this is so good so right now i'll show you guys how i did my second time and it's still the same thing you know you put the pot quantity you want to tie it depends on you how big or how small you want yours to be and you just go ahead and tie you make sure the edges are well tight because we don't want that water to get in there and mess up our cookie granola huh Whew. oh la la i can't wait to oh i can't wait guys see our cookie granola is already on the stove so we add water as needed we're gonna be checking this we're gonna cook this for 45 to an hour for five minutes to an hour so we're gonna let this cook and we're gonna add water as needed so right now we're just gonna cover this pot and let it cook guys our cookie granola is ready look how beautiful they look oh my god i can't wait to reveal the secret oh this is yummy ah oh oh my god guys you all are invited to have a bite of this this is so good guys i bet you if you do this whew, you will regret it 
look how beautiful they look this is oh my god you see why i said i love cookie granddad thank you for watching bye bye share